Baltimore City Police have now released a surveillance photo of the suspect wanted for pushing a man onto the tracks at the Shot Tower Metro Station, electrocuting him. WJZ live there at 5 o'clock tonight. Dennis Valera staying on top of this investigation for us. And Dennis, you have some answers now. Yes, Rick. Uh, also, friends on social media posting about the him about Christopher uh, Christopher Foster, the victim. They wrote that he's a great guy. That he had things going for him before his death. They're still grappling with his death, and so are fellow Metro writers tonight. Police Friday released this picture, saying this is the man who pushed 28-year-old Christopher Foster to his death Wednesday night. 2100 is also on scene in reference to a male that was pushed down on the subway track. Nearly two days after Foster died at the Shot Tower Metro stop, riders still have him top of mind. I thought about that young man. He was going there. He didn't think that would be his last moment. Yeah. And died. You know, so you got to be blessed about every second that you have because you never know when it's going to be snatched away from you, you know? Police say Foster was standing at the edge of the platform when it happened. He was electrocuted, landing on the tracks. It's just sad that an innocent man was getting ready to get on the subway and he ultimately gets pushed to his death. We still don't know why the suspect pushed Foster, and for some riders, that's the scariest and saddest part about this. It's, it's sad because people are doing things like that for no reason. It was like the world is full of hate today, and it's like, it's, why, why would you hurt somebody for no reason? I don't understand it. Demetrius Johnson rides the Metro multiple times a day. As sad as Foster's death is, he hopes it's a wake-up call for others to be more cautious, more aware when riding the subway. You have guys that really run up and down, um, down the subway, and they're not paying attention to what they're doing, just playing, and they don't take it serious that um, it's a dangerous place. As police continue to investigate, they ask anyone with information to please come forward and give them a call. Reporting live, I'm Dennis Flair for WJZ.